to come off a victory and come to our first victory tour match and be a sellout and have such an amazing crowd, especially in support of Abby, but the whole team. You know, it's it just um, shows how important those games were in the Olympics, how well we did, and hopefully we'll see this type of fan support for the rest of the games. You know, I couldn't be more proud to have Rochester be my hometown and this be the first game of our victory tour and it be the way it just was. I mean, it was electric. People were interested the entire game, no matter what the scoreline said. It was such a great reception coming to Rochester. Um, everyone here loves Abby Wambach. I mean, the, Abby is everyone's hero, and I'm so happy we got to come here because she's done so much for the team um, over the past 10 years, however many years. She's such a leader for us and the country, so it's great to see a full sold-out crowd here cheering us on every moment during the game. I mean, there's nothing quite like the, the scream, the pitch, the volume that goes on in your hometown when you get a one in the net. I know I missed a few probably really obvious chances, but like I said, we haven't been playing together and to get as many goals as we did tonight, I think was a compliment and, you know, this team's a good team. And it's easier to, in some ways, it's easier to play when there's no stress. You know, we've worked so hard from the World Cup to the Olympics and no, we're not as fit. No, we're not like probably as good on the ball, but just to enjoy this game, people are smiling, having a good time, a lot of goals. And that's what it's all about. This is to celebrate and thank the fans. I mean, we've played Costa Rica quite a few times, Olympic qualifiers, World Cup qualifiers. They've continued to improve their game. I know that they probably haven't come together as a team um, recently. So um, I think that we were both rusty at first, but um, we put on a good show for the fans, I think, and um, hope to you know, see Costa Rica in the next year or so. Your thoughts on Kia and her decision? Well, you know, we're all sad. We, we love Pia, and she's obviously done so much for our team in this game. Uh, she's been involved with soccer her whole life, and uh, she'll definitely be missed. I wanted to, to tell the fans, uh, you soccer, uh, the, the, the coaches I've been working with, staff and the players, you know, if not for you, you know, if, if not for you, I wouldn't find the door. I wouldn't be where I am. He has been great for us. I'm really honored to be playing under her right now and for two more games. And I really appreciate everything she's done for this team. So I wish her well in her next journey. I'm still shocked. It's going to take some time, but at the same time, um, we got to send her off right. You know, we enjoyed this game tonight. She's going to be with us for two more games. So we'll definitely be celebrating in Denver. You know, it's going to be hard not to, to leave a field and get into the locker room and not see her. Um, you know, I love Pia so much because she has shown me what it's like to, to, to love the game. And her passion is contagious and I hope nothing but the best for her.